This tutorial explains the tools available in Lisa, to create nodes and elements, without using the auto mesher. If you need a quick mesh to test some Lisa feature, use the quick square. If you don't want just a single element, refine it a couple of times. Similarly, for a quick cube. There are templates, for creating simple shapes, such as a circular plate. Type the radius, and select the concentric nodes checkbox. Or a template of a square plate, with a hole. Type the width of the plate, and the radius of the hole. If you would like to create just nodes, and then connect them up to form elements, the Create Nodes tool button can be used. Type the X, Y, and Z coordinates for the node. For the nodes to be visible, the Select Nodes tool button must be active. If the tool button for Select Faces, or select elements is active, the nodes will not be displayed. To create a node mid-distance between two nodes, first select the two nodes, and then use the Insert Between Tool button. To create nodes in arcs and circular patterns, the Curve Generator can be used. As the Curve Generator creates line elements, these will have to be deleted, leaving behind the nodes. For example, to create a circle of diameter 1, with its center from the origin at a distance of 10 along the x-axis and 5 along the y-axis. Select the circle option. Then type in the diameter. As the circle's center, is at a distance of 10 from the origin, along the x-axis, add 10 to the equation for the x-coordinate. Similarly, Add 5 to the equation for the Y coordinate. Change the number of elements to 12. To delete these line elements and leave behind their nodes, first select all the elements, then use this tool to delete elements and retain nodes. Now that a circle of nodes has been created, use the Create Element Tool button, to lay out a coarse mesh. The order in which the nodes are clicked to create an element, will affect the direction in which element subdivisions occur if you were to use the custom refinement tool. For example, if this element was formed by going counterclockwise, starting at the lower left corner. When using the custom refinement tool, it will be subdivided like this. And if this element was formed going counterclockwise, starting at the lower right corner. If the same parameters were used for the custom refinement tool, it will be subdivided like this. After connecting the nodes to form elements, a very important tool for splitting up larger elements into smaller elements, is the quadrilateral template. Click, or drag to select the elements that need to be replaced by smaller elements. To add more elements to the already selected elements, hold down the control key and click the element. Then, select one of the template patterns. Elements must be connected, node to node. A node on an element edge, is no connection at all. In this mesh there are a few nodes present on element edges. The Open Cracks tool clearly shows the disconnect between the elements. 
the quadrilateral template can be used, to divide the element edge, so that a node-to-node -node connection can be possible. Select the element, then apply one of the patterns. Repeat for the other element. If the pattern looks wrong, use the control key, together with the Z key, to undo. Then, try another pattern. While all the connections now appear to be node to node, the Open Cracks tool reveals that they are simply overlapping nodes and are not actually connected. Use the Merge Nearby Nodes tool button, to eliminate the duplicate nodes. Specify a small radius, within which, overlapping nodes are replaced by a single shared node. Using too large a value, will cause the elements to collapse. The Open Cracks tool, will now confirm that the mesh is indeed continuous. This ends the tutorial on the essential tools used to create a two-dimensional mesh manually. Please view the tutorials on mesh refinement, and converting two-dimensional meshes, into three-dimensional solids or shells. Moreover, there is a beginner's tutorial PDF installed with Lisa, that has an entire chapter showing you, step-by-step, step, how to build complex models without using the auto-mesher.